So we have um, Sook here today and he's kindly agreed to basically film his driving lesson. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and how much driving experience have you had? Just uh, for, to none let people at know. all actually. <laughs> And we've done a bit, we've checked your license, haven't you? And then we've sort of um, also checked your eyesight. Yep. And just come to a nice, nice quiet road here, um, which I was just saying to suck, it's just basically a deserted road, it's just a dead end at the end. Yep. Um, so pretty much no traffic here really, but it's just quite a nice road to, to start a first lesson on. So first things first really, did you want to just get yourself all comfortable Feel free to press the pedals. The car won't move anywhere because it's all secure and the engine's off. Um, just sort of see how, how it feels. And you can also, because um, I think you've got the seat all the way back, haven't you? Uh, I, think I, think, I think it's all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> you can also make the seat go lower right. if that feels more comfortable. So there's a lever to the right of you. That you kind of go down, then release, down, then release. Uh, yep. You can see how that's working. So it makes you go, it makes you go down, but it also goes back a bit. It kind of goes diagonal. Yep. Um. But sort of see, see how that feels. Yeah, that's lovely, guys. Yeah, and have a go at pressing that left pedal down for me. Just go fully down on that. How does that sort of feel? Completely comfortable. Yeah, so it looks okay to me. So what they typically say is that when you press that left pedal down the clutch pedal, yep. um, you should just have a slight bend in your knee, yep. kind of like you've got there. So you're not sort of stretching for it, but equally you're not kind of all cramped up to it. Okay. Um, you can also, as you might know, be able to adjust the back bit of the seat as well, yep. if you want to. But I don't know how that feels for you. Can you sort of reach the wheel okay? That feels comfortable or? Yeah, I think the leap like more up or more. Forward. So it's just on, yeah, I think you might need a little wheel things, that's it. Yeah. That's better. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and then there is also one other bit of the seat as well um, that, that you might know one know about because people tend to sort of forget about it. Right. Is basically this. The headrest. <laughs> mm -mm, which officially, they officially call head restraint. Okay. Reason being, because of course you're driving along. Um, you probably won't actually rest your head, and there's a passenger you might do, but as the actual driver, like you'll find there, to sit comfortably, your head's almost not resting, is it? So you wouldn't necessarily have your head against it. <laughs> so it's, it's basically, have you heard of stuff like whiplash? Yes, I have. So it's basically to help prevent stuff like those injuries, like head and neck injuries. Okay. So basically, if you, in the event of sort of heavy braking, um, if the head restraint's correctly adjusted, it will stop your head from going back. Okay. Hence why it's restraint, as in stop, stops your head going back rather than resting your head against it. Right, okay. Um, and they say basically the top, the middle of the head restraint should be about level with the top of your, your ear slash eye level. Okay. Which for you, I don't know if it goes up any higher, you can try, there's a little <laughs> thing there. Does it go up any, so to release it, you got it? So yeah, I think that's probably the highest it goes. Yeah. It doesn't seem to so, work. So yeah, that is, I just double checked myself. Yeah, that is the highest it goes. So that's basically all you can do then really with that. Right. Um, so yeah, we had to see what gets on as well. Because probably people will say watching the video, they'll probably say that um, like you're sort of all cramped up to the wall and that sort of thing. Yeah. But there's, but the seat's as far back as it can go, I think it is, isn't it? And because um, you went one more back on the seat, did it, did, does it feel like then you're stretching? Well, that's a good idea to go down a bit on the seat. Oh, yeah. so I think that, does that then feel like you're stretching for that left pedal? No. Or does, or does that feel okay, actually, does yeah. it? Yes, yeah, so maybe try that then. Okay. To see how that is. Of course, when you're driving, you won't have your feet like that. So it's, you'll there be more kind of down near the pedals than that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And you can still reach the wheel okay, that feels. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so apart from so that, should be all the seat now adjusted. Hi guys, I thought I'd just show you this book to add to your collection, the New Driver's Handbook. It's a three-in-one book, and it's got some pretty good reviews from a driving examiner and a driving instructor. It has over 800 practice theory test questions, common driving test faults, driving test general tips and advice on dealing with nerves on the big day.
Finally, it has tips for after you've passed your test, including vehicle maintenance and driving abroad. You can find a link to this book in the description below. Now, back to the video. Apart from adjusting the seat, anything else you think you might need to adjust, considering I've just driven the car? Obviously mm. everyone's different sizes and that sort of thing. I would assume it would be the mirrors. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it doesn't really matter which one you start with. Um, I don't know, for argument's sake, you would start with this one, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Did you want to have a go at moving that? And what do you think you should be able to, to see? How would you know, how do you think you'd know when it's correctly adjusted? So I can see completely out of that uh, back window there? Yeah, that's it. So that one's going to normally be fairly self-explanatory, isn't it? You yeah. start with that. So, for example, can you see the, the other learner car? Or yes. the car that L-plate on and probably the front of the van that's sort of yep. hidden in the bushes a bit? Um, and then we've also got the side mirrors. So to move the, the side, that's the problem. Just move it up a tad so I can see better. I have to yeah. duck down a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, that's the thing. They, they can yeah. be quite precise, they can, but yeah. that's sort of, so that looks okay, does it? Now you can yeah. sort of see that van and yeah. that, that learner car. Cool. And they've also got the side mirrors, and this car has got electric side mirrors. So to move them, just below the door handle, there's some controls. There's kind of pictures that look like mirrors and with like a, a D-pad type thing below it. Yep. So if you press one of the buttons above it first, um, yeah, that works. Yep, so little orange lights come on, so that's now going to give you control over the right mirror. Okay. And you can use that D pad thing to move it around. Did you want to have a go just moving around, just see how it feels, just to see and see how it works? And I'm going to get you a little picture. Um, there's lots of phrases there. Picture speaks a thousand words, or whatever the phrase is. Just to sort of show you kind of what you typically would want to see in that mirror. Now this isn't this isn't the same car, but it's generally the same principle on sort of on cars. Right. Typically, this is what I see. I'm typically find I can see the um, the front door handle right. in the corner okay. of the mirror, um, which then would mean. Do you know what I mean by the horizon? Uh, not in this context, no. Um, so the horizon being like the point when the sort of the ground becomes the sky. Okay. So the horizon is essentially here. Okay. When it sort of stops being ground, it starts becoming like the sky or the houses. And the horizon's typically in the middle. Right, okay. So it's either the horizon's in the middle, or the door handle's in the corner. Um, and you should be able to see almost like, kind of like this, where you can see maybe just maybe like a finger's width of the side of our car. Okay. But yeah. the large majority seen down, down the road. Let's see if you can get it to look something similar to what this mirror here, this picture here looks like. In the middle, door handle on the bottom left corner, and a finger width of car on the side. Yeah. That's exactly what I've got. Cool. So, um, for example, just to sort of um, give you a little test here, what colours, by looking at that right mirror, what colours that car on the driveway? Um, Hopefully you can see them in that mirror. Probably fine you can't see it in that mirror, actually. You're talking about that bluish Ford. Um, oh, you're looking all the way back there. If you can see that one, that's good. I was wondering if you could see the white one in the car mirror. It might not be visible in that mirror, actually, to be the fair. The one the guy's working on. Yeah, is that visible in the mirror? Yes, it is. Cool. But if you can see that white one and even that bluey, blue, dark bluey fold thing, yeah. Um, then yeah, that would sound good if you can see see those. <laughs> I went for the further away one. <laughs> um, yeah, but you like to be the even. That sounds, that sounds good, though. And it should be you should be able to also of course, see the learner car in that mirror as well. Yes, and... Uh, Van there with the Mercedes. Uh, where's the Mercedes van? Oh, can you actually see that in the mirror? I suppose yeah. it's the slight curvature of the road you can maybe see them. Okay. Um, so you could do now a similar thing with this left mirror. So just pressing that button there. Ah, now this is because because we've basically had the power off for a few moments. Yep. Um, that now won't work. So this car is keyless drive. Have you heard of that before? Uh, I have, yeah. Oh. So basically the key is just like a fob. And all you need to do is basically keep it in the car somewhere. Okay. So I tend to keep it in my pocket because if I put it somewhere there, I'd probably leave it in the car, which yeah. is not good. <laughs> so just keep it in your pocket, or ladies keep it in their handbags and that sort of thing. Yep. And, if, and then it will sense it's, you've got it in the car. And then it's got a, a push button to start and stop it. Okay. So the button just hit it. So without pressing the pedals, just push the button and that will turn on the electrics. That's it. Okay. So now everything electrical in the car will work. Right. Such as the mirrors, such as the windows, 
um, such as the fans on the um, demister things. So, and then you can now press that button to do the left mirror now, because now that gives you power to do that. Okay. So I'll get you a picture up here. But you can have a little play of it for a second, but it will look something like that. Is how I tend to have it. So typically, again, the door handle, front door handle in the corner, maybe about a finger's width of car, and then the rest seen down. Well, I was going to say seen down the road. Probably here, you're going to see loads of bushes. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much to look at here. There's not really, unfortunately. <laughs> right, so I would say that's in the right, the right position there. Cool. And I can't really, of course, check that too much because on that one I said, you can you see this car? Because that confirms yeah. you've got it correctly adjusted. But here, probably can't. I don't know, you might be able to actually see the Fiesta, the blacky, bluey, you probably not there because the angle. All I see is bush. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, but as long as it's similar you can see like maybe a finger's width of our car yeah. and then the rest, the bushes. Yeah. Yep, and the door handle's somewhere in the corner, the oh, front right door corner. handle. Yeah. Yep, cool. So that should now be um, basically everything set up so you can reach everywhere and see everywhere. Um, so of course that's something to do whenever you get and jump in the car, just to make sure you're all, you're all comfortable with all that. Okay. Any questions on, on that at the moment? What, what some people refer to that as the cockpit drill, just basically getting yourself set up in the car and comfortable in the car. Any questions on that at the moment? Uh, nothing at the moment, no. Okay. Cool.